Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. We are going to be making a card, a baby card, with this new Baby Bundle stamp set, which is just so adorable, from the new catalog. That'll be out on July the 1st. Okay, first we're going to fold over our cardstock, which is Whisper White, with a bone folder. And then we are going to add the perfect embossing folder regal rose piece that gives it all these polka dots from the big shot. I've already done that today, so I'm just going to add that to the front of the card. Okay, now we're going to stamp the baby card, or the baby carriage actually. Using Black Stays on Ink, which is what I primarily use, I'm going to ink up this baby carriage and stamp that right onto the Whisper White cardstock. Just like that. Okay, now the best part about this is that we can add the little baby, which is so cute. And you can see straight through this clear mount exactly where to put the baby. Perfect. Actually, that's really perfect. You want to see? Close up. Let's see if I can get it up a little bit closer. Okay, so there's the little baby in the baby carriage, and we are going to now color him in. And to color him in, we're going to use Pretty in Pink and color in the carriage. And to make this faster, I've already done a little coloring ahead of time. So I only have this little piece here left to get with the pink. And then I'm going to come in with the pink pirouette, which is an ink color that came back as one of our core colors this year, which is great. And it's now in a marker, so that'll be one of the fun new options that you can have getting that item this year. And we're coloring in all these little polka dots here in the pink pirouette. And the reason for that is we have another step that's going to show the pink pirouette um, up a little bit better. And this one I just added pretty in pink back on the heart there. The next step is to um, color in these wheels. Uh, so what I do is I take the black stamp pad and I squeeze it, open it up using that template with the blender pen to pull the color. And let me get this here so you can see it side by side. Okay. And I pull the color here and I go directly to the wheel. And then just color them in. I love the blender pens. It makes things work so easy. And it gives you a lighter tone. So this is more coming out, I guess, a little grayer than black, which is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, now that we have this all colored in, actually, I forgot one little thing. We got to do the baby. This is the new Daffodil Delight marker and Blush Blossom for the face. Now, Blush Blossom was a cardstock and ink color that was discontinued, but they are still offering the marker for instances just like this where we need to color in a skin tone. Okay, so the next step is to layer all the pieces together, and we're going to ticket corner punch the corners of the little baby carriage. Okay. Now we're going to adhere everything together. This piece goes on to the regal rose piece. Oops, move it up here so you can see it. And this piece goes on to the pink pirouette piece. And now we're going to add dimensionals to the back, and that way it'll be ready for our next step. Now I always use five dimensionals, one in each corner and one in the middle, just like that. Okay, so our next step, I'm taking a clear plastic container that I have that's empty, well, actually it's been used. Um, but I'm going to put some crystal effects inside here, and crystal effects are um, a wonderful accent to the card. So we're just going to pour some of that in there. We don't need too much. And then I'm going to add some dazzling diamond glitters to the mixture. Of 
put a little bit of that in there. And then I'm going to stir it around. And usually I use something like a toothpick with this, but right now I'm just using the paintbrush. And this paintbrush is um, just a dollar store item, actually. You don't even need to spend a lot of money on the paintbrushes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and just add the crystal effects with the dazzling diamonds to all the little polka dots. And this is a big wow on your card. This is something that customers or people or who are receiving this card will just love. Um, for me, I know especially this past weekend, I went to a baby shower for my cousin and I made a card similar to this with this set and they just went crazy over it. They passed the card around the whole entire shower, which makes you feel good when you make a card um, that everybody seems to enjoy. So, so now some of this crystal effects was a little gloopy because I had used it in a previous video that didn't make it on camera. So uh, it'll run a little bit smoother for you in the future. Okay, and then you can add some to the heart, too. Okay, now we'll put that to side. And that's ready to go. Now we need to do our next step, which is making our sentiment. And I'm going to use the sentiment bundle of love that comes in this bundle of uh, baby bundle set. I'm just going to stamp it here onto the cardstock. Ooh, that was a little light. We'll do it again. That's a better one. And then we're going to punch that out with the small oval punch. And then with the large oval punch, we are going to punch out, let's see, the regal rose piece. And with the scalloped oval punch, we're going to punch out a pink pirouette piece. Now we will just adhere all these together. It's a little off. That's all right. And then we'll just add some dimensionals to the back of that. Okay. And now we need a piece of ribbon. And this I'm going to make about 14 to 16 inches long, just so that you can see um, that it fits around the card front. And we will tie a little knot around our card front. And then trim the edges. And then all we have to do is just add our little pieces. We take off our dimensional backings. And we lay that right here on the front of the card. And our little bundle of love. there you go. Hope you enjoyed the card. See you next time.